warmed up. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm Dr. B uh, with the Mentally Strong YouTube channel, and I have a very special guest with me today, Julia Pimsler. And I found her by searching for coaches and, and executive coaches and business coaches and read her book, Million Dollar Woman. And I was like, this woman is on a mission. Tell me a little bit about your mission. Well, I, we're helping one million women get to one million in revenues. Yes. And I'm so it. glad you reached out because yeah. we're so aligned around the importance of having a strong mindset, right? Yes. You call it mentally strong. Yes. I talk about building mindset core strength. Right. But we're really trying to just make this more accessible for we're everyone. We're making it more accessible. And we're here in Fort Lauderdale Beach. Go Big Now Retreat yes. for your book launch. And we'll talk about that a little later. But I wanted to, to first start out with I'm just finishing a series on empowering women. So obviously Fantastic. this is your passion, your mission, um, but also going into a series on cognitive behavioral therapy. And as we were talking, everything that you're doing is in line with what I'm doing. And this, this um, changing your mind, changing your thinking is gonna change your behavior, change your success. So yes. tell me a little bit about your training in this area. Well, I got interested in NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And if you've never heard of that, NLP is a little bit like a CBT, right? Cognitive mm -hmm. Behavioral Therapy on steroids. It's just like <laughs> the fast, fast track. But they have a for lot in common. Our, our A personalities. So That's right, way. for the type A people who don't have time. I mean, look, I did 20 years of therapy mm -hmm. and then I did NLP and it was like things just clicked into place. Yeah. So I'm not saying it replaces traditional therapy, mm -hmm. but NLP believes that everyone is perfect just as you are, no one is broken, but you're sometimes running buggy programs that aren't serving you anymore. Right. And as business people, I coach business people, yeah. it's really those buggy programs that are holding people back. I find especially with women, mm -hmm. it's not that they're not talented or capable or even mm -hmm. confident, yeah. it's that they're running programs that say, well, I can't make a lot of money or who am I to have a multi-million dollar business? Yeah. Or how could I raise venture capital? I didn't get an MBA. So sometimes we have to get rid of those programs yes. and put different ones in. Yeah, and I've been doing work on myself for over 20 years and you've already pegged a couple bad programs going on <laughs> We're gonna hit the delete button. Delete, delete, delete. Uh, <laughs> Replace those. Yeah, so my audience has a different, you know, um, you know, they're seeking like, what do I do for my mental health? How do yeah. I, um, improve my mental health because I'm struggling with depression or anxiety and I always share about my personal struggles with depression and anxiety um, but I think a lot of women actually struggle in this area and we don't talk about it freely like a hundred percent talk about it I mean I know I have and mm -hmm. and when I wrote in my new book go big now mm -hmm. I shared about what happened when I went through my divorce the fact that in my family there's depression mm -hmm. people joining cults Suicides, like like every family, right? Right. right, right. <laughs> every family has a we mental all, health story, yes. and I myself have struggled with these things. I mean, yeah. I study mindset because mm -hmm. you teach what you need to learn, right? Right. It's exactly. an ongoing journey. Right. Yes. Exactly. But you did ask about women, so I do yeah. find that women have a tendency to engage in a lot of negative self-talk, mm -hmm. and that we really have to learn how to kind of tug on that leash. You know, when you have a, a new puppy and they want to mm -hmm. just run all over and eat all the garbage and put their <laughs> nose in everything. Well, that's what our thoughts are like, right? right? But you learn to tug on the leash and say, hey, you know what? Don't eat that spit out chewing gum. Yeah, <laughs> That's not gonna serve you, right? right? And sometimes we have to do that with our own thoughts and yeah. say, I'm gonna stop this train. Right, and we can control our own thoughts. We, yes. I think we're taught that, you know, that's just how you are, that's your personality. And uh, we're here to challenge you that you can change the way you think. And that right. is gonna change the way you feel. Also. And the mission you're on to give people tools really right. resonated with me because I'm yeah. giving business people tools. Right. Uh, I have these eight mindset keys in the book and they're mm -hmm. distilled down from having learned with some of the top mindset teachers in the country yeah. and in some cases in the world yeah. and just simplifying it. Saying, okay, what are the eight things you need to use if you have a big ambitious goal yes. and you want to get there. Yes. We were talking about Nike earlier, right? Yep. And how Nike has this slogan, just do, do it. it, right? Just right. do it. And what? it's kind of funny because just do it is like 10% of success, right? Right. And the mm -hmm. other 90% is changing those, the way we think and, and believing in ourselves. That's right. Um, and what I love about the concept of this book and, and, um, I have it. I haven't gotten through the first chapter yet. I well, you had just time. got it yesterday, <laughs> so I think you're off the hook. <laughs> but super excited that all of these years of your training is 
all wrapped up into this book that anyone can use. So yes, it's, it's kind of targeted or marketed to entrepreneurs, but you, uh, you have so much knowledge that you are sharing with everyone. And I believe my listeners can definitely benefit from this mindset shift. It doesn't have to be just for, we can all be an entrepreneur or what they or, call or an entrepreneur. That's right. Wherever yes. you are, like, and even in your family, you can learn how to... Well, a mom use. is a leader, right? Yes. I mean, entrepreneurs are just leaders. We're, we're harnessing resources and right. leading teams to create outcomes. Yes. And people do that in corporate America. People do that in their homes. Yes. People do it in their families, right? right? So, yeah, these yeah. are all mindset practices that, yes, can help you advance in business, but they mm -hmm. also help you advance in life. Yes. One of my favorite quotes is, you can only grow your business as big as you grow yourself. Mm -hmm. And you could swap out business with career. career. Right? Or family. Or family. You know, we have these big dreams of what we want our children to do, almost vicariously living through them. And I see mothers kind of pouring their their heart and soul into raising their children. Um, and then when they're done, they're, they don't have anything left. Like they, they've given everything to their children. And so take the time, take care of yourself also. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that you have the right mindset. and. Go big now is for everybody, not just the, you know, the title of going big in a, in a financial way. Correct. But it could be going big in your in life. What you want. Just in achieving your dreams and right. goals, right? Maybe right. your dream is to take a year off and travel around the world, right? That's going big. <laughs> or, or by the way, getting out of an unhappy marriage, right? Yeah. That's going big. Just standing right. up for your own life. So, and that's you know that's super important because I think that we we put um, success in a box, like it means this or it means that, and it might actually mean getting out of something right. and, and making choices for yourself and making choices because you believe in yourself. Yeah. Well, that sounds like what you're helping people do is right. mentally strong. And I know yeah. you're coming off of this Women's Empowerment Month, yes. and I have found that when women are able to access these mindset best practices, mm -hmm. suddenly they just have these big ahas. I've had women realize I've been in my own way all these years. You know, I was afraid yes. to take my company big. I thought my kids wouldn't love me anymore, or I thought that my husband would be mad if I was working too much. And these are all these limiting beliefs that yes. just keep us small and get in our way. Yeah, holding ourselves back. You say that a lot, and um, I definitely see it. I see it in myself, I see it in others. And um, I thank you for what you're doing for me, and I thank you thank for you. what this book is gonna do for, for millions of, of people. So the link to, to purchase the book uh, from Amazon will be uh, down in the um, descriptors and just keep following us like share and remember that you are mentally strong